Hey guys, it's Jessie here. I'm jumping in to show you how to make your workbooks fillable. So obviously when you design something in Canva, for example, I've got this five day challenge template here and you can see it's actually been designed so that your client or whoever is participating and has this workbook should be able to sort of write on this. But if they don't want to print it out and they just want to sort of fill it out online, you can actually make these fields editable. Now the software that I'm going to be using today is called Adobe Acrobat. I have it included in my Creative Cloud suite. So it's included with sort of Photoshop, Illustrator, things like that, but it is available separately. So I'm going to jump in and show you how to make fields editable with it. I'm going to download my PDF to start with from Canva. So I'm going to go down, select PDF standard, make sure all pages is ticked, hit download, and that will download. Beautiful. That's downloaded. So I'm going to open that up. Beautiful. So you can see this is in my PDF viewer. So Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Now on the far right hand side, I'm going to go to prepare form. I'm going to hit start. And that is going to bring up a toolbar at the very top, which has a whole bunch of options for me. So I'm going to scroll down to one of these pages I want to make editable. So let's start with these checkboxes. Say that I wanted to add some checkboxes. I can go here and select the checkbox and actually draw those in like that, in like that. Beautiful. So those will turn into checkboxes once I save my document and reopen it, which I'll show you at the end, but I'm going to finish making this editable. So here where it says goal of the day, I want to create like quite a big text box there. So multiple lines, I'm just going to draw. So it was this one here with the T and the little um, line cursor. And it, what that does, it draws a big box. If I double click on this, it brings up a whole bunch of options. And you can change the font that it uses here. So you can pick a new font, you can change the font size. The section that I am going to go to is options because I want to make this area multi-line so you can have multiple lines in here. So I'm just going to tick so I'm just going to tick multi-line. And then I'm going to go close. So that one that field is now done. Now I want to go and add some more fields just down here. I'm just going to go in and if you want to save time, what you can do is go in and you can copy and paste the fields. So that they're all the same size. I'm going to go, I know these aren't lined up perfectly, but I will go in and tweak that at the end. Beautiful. Now I'm going to select all of these and over here in the right hand side, we've got align. I'm going to align them all. It's looking good. So that's looking good. So that is ready to go. But the one thing that we've got to remember when we copy and paste elements like this, see how they all say text seven? What that actually means is these are all the same fields. So if I go in, if I was to open up this PDF and type in um, my name is Jessa into this first one, that would actually auto fill into all of these fields. So they would all say my name is Jessa. So what we need to go through and do is just update the field names. So under general, I'm going to go through and update all the field names. So again, to open up this text field properties, I'm just double clicking on the text box. Beautiful. And just to make sure they are aligned, I'm just going to select them again and just make sure they're all lined up by centering them. Beautiful. So now if I wanted to save this, I go save as, I'm going to save it as a totally new file so I'm going to go to my downloads folder where the original is I'm going to save this as workbook template editable hit save and we're on page six so I'm going to close this one and I'm going to open up workbook template editable I'm going to go to page six and see what it looks like beautiful so as you can see this is now fillable and I can go through I can go through and fill all of these as well. Let's go back and look at our tick boxes. So as you can see, these are tick boxes. So easy. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that you, um, you can now go through and create your workbooks to be editable if that's what you want to do.
If you like this video and you found it handy, I would really love you to subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos to help you with online marketing and all things good like that every single week. So hit subscribe, make sure notifications are turned on and I will see you guys soon.